Hi, I'm Jonathan. I'm in our Dumbo Brooklyn showroom, and I want to introduce you to the newest addition to the showroom, which isn't a piece of uh, uh, audio electronics or turntable or loudspeakers. It's actually these, these treatments. They're called 1D diffusers, and we've designed and, and built these recently, and I'd like to explain to you why we did that and how they operate, because I think it's really interesting. And the, the project here is really how do we make the most amazing sound? And to do that, we obviously build very high quality loudspeakers and electronics, but the room is always a big part of the equation. How does something sound? And this room, we treated the room. We put heavy velvet curtains on covering the windows so that uh, sound wouldn't reflect against the glass, that we wouldn't be hearing sound from outside. We have absorption panels on the front and the rear walls, and we have some, some uh, treatments hanging from the ceilings that absorb sound to reduce things like the echoes, the reverberation, um, kind of create the most neutral space possible. But what's so interesting about how sound, sound systems work in spaces is that you know, your, your brain and your ears are constantly asking, where is the sound coming from? I mean, that, that, that's how we're hardwired. And with these things, they're, they're really sculpting the sound in the room in a really, really interesting way. So when, when sound hits a boundary, it reflects back, and it reflects the same angle of incidence that it hits the boundary. When the sound hits these things, it's it's, they, they operate as 1D diffusers, meaning in one dimension, and that dimension is horizontal. So the sound comes, goes into these wells, sees these slotted, grooved panels, and this is all solid, torrified Pennsylvania ash. It's, they're just beautiful objects. We can move them around. Um, goes in here comes out diffused, and why would we want to do that and go to the considerable expense of designing and building these? The person who is sitting in this chair is listening to, for example, the Imperial loudspeakers, which are extremely directional, and uh, so the sound comes, goes whizzing past the ears of this person, and keeps going because it's a really big room goes and hits the rear wall, which is again another 40 feet back there, and reflects back. By the time it gets back here, that reflection is very late in time and down in level. With these devices here, sound goes past this person's ears, hits these things, and is diffused and reflected back in a, a, a much shorter time frame. And now this person is experiencing the sound field of a much larger space with these diffuse reflections that, that, that make the brain think that it's like Carnegie Hall. And the spatial imaging is improved too. So what you get is a transformation of the space that you couldn't get through loudspeakers or electronics. Um, and that can be uh, customized and tailored to the taste and the needs of the space. For example, when I'm not needing these, I can roll them around. They have absorption on the other side, which is useful for the other space that we've got going. But the, the main thing is, is this idea of sculpting the sound in the space to create really something that's never been done before, because what I've been told is that um, it's unprecedented to have 1D diffusers freestanding. They're, they're very common on the boundaries, meaning the rear walls of critical listening spaces like studios, but you never see these in the middle of a space. And that's quite simply because you need to have very directional loudspeakers like our horns for this to make sense. Because if the conventional speaker is very far away, it's all reflected sound anyway, and it doesn't matter. You need to have a very directional sound source to have something like this work at all.
but it does work. It's really remarkable. It really transforms the experience of sitting, listening here, and I think that um, these have uh, application uh, far beyond just uh, just our showroom. We'd like to offer sound treatments both in the Oswald's Mill audio line and in the Fleetwood line for people uh, in the future because we're looking at the totality of sound. It's not just the speakers, the electronics, the turntables, uh, and, and the furniture, but the treatments are really also a critical part of, of creating an amazing sonic environment.